I absolutely loved filming Romeo and Juliet and it most definitely was a very different experience from performing it on stage, mainly because of the fact that we were on set um, on location and you know, I had all these different places to tell the story. Um, like I had, you know, my bedroom and the crypt and the ballroom. And so it really felt like a real place. Um, like at the town of Verona, it felt so alive. And on the last day when we'd filmed the last scene and I had to leave the set, I remember looking around um, everywhere and it really felt like I was leaving my, you know, the place where I grew up and where all these memories happened like you know I looked over there and that was where I had my first kiss with Romeo and I thought over there I saw Romeo for the first time like it felt so real and I feel very lucky because when I went back to um, London I performed Romeo and Juliet again on stage and it um, after having filmed Juliet it helped me bring so many more thoughts I felt and emotions to her that I hadn't had the chance to think about before. Yes, there were some challenges, obviously, with, you know, the space we were in might be a bit smaller or a bit, or sometimes larger, like we had to fill more space or there might be steps or um, something might be really outside, so we had to be careful in case it was slippery, but um, I think the whole cast, we were ready for all the challenges, um, and, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't actually danced with William before. Um, we both went to the Royal Ballet School together. He was slightly older. Um, it was lovely to dance with Will. He's such a lovely person too, and a great partner. And he's also very present in the moment, which was great because it felt like we could be very spontaneous and very natural. Um, and um, we had, uh, I, I really remember filming the balcony scene, for example, and that was actually my birthday, the day we filmed that scene. <laughs> and also we were very, very fortunate because it was, uh, there was a great um, breeze that day. And so I think people watching the film might think we had a wind machine, but that's all real. That's a natural, the way my dress moves and my hair, that was all, <laughs> that was all natural. That was a very fun day to film. <laughs> Yes, I mean, um, obviously I knew that was going to be a very emotional day and also I'm glad that we filmed it last because it felt like, as it does on stage, you need all that time to build up with the story to really um, feel what you need to feel at that point. So it was the very last scene that we shot um, and it was, it was very tough and, um, you know, also we were encouraged to sort of sometimes if we needed to cry we were allowed to make noise as well um, and that was very helpful to you know portray the right emotions at the time and also I think more effective when you watch it on the screen. Um, Matthew and I haven't danced together too much but we are at the moment we're dancing in Onyegin together um, and I'll also be dancing with William at dances in, in, at a gathering so I'm now having more opportunities to dance with them um, but yes, it was just fantastic to be on set with, you know, with friends and to know people so well, but yet their performances can still feel so real to you and you can still, because they're such great artists, you can still detach them yourself from the fact that they're your friends and I really believe that he's, you know, Tybalt and um, I believe that William is Romeo and etc. yeah. I think all the Royal Ballet, we're all very close with each other. It feels very much like a family, um, but we also felt so passionate about making this film and um, making it in such a different way and um, bringing this story to life, you know, as no one's ever seen it before. I absolutely love Marcelino. He is um, such an amazing spirit and I think he was absolutely perfect for the part of Mercutio. I mean, it's very difficult technically, Mercutio, which obviously he does so fantastically, but it's, it's more his character and his soul which he really brings Mercutio to life so amazingly. Um, I mean, on set, actually, Juliet and Mercutio never meet in the story, really. I don't, I don't meet him, but obviously I've had so many amazing opportunities to dance with Marcelino in the past. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's which I actually really enjoyed. I think it's a good, um, a good idea. We should bring maybe back to the stage. <laughs> I actually had an opportunity to perform Juliet once in Tokyo with Stephen McRae. <laughs> I love the progression from the beginning to the end, that she's a very young girl, but yet you have an opportunity to make her so strong and, um, and brave. Um, and I love being in act three, especially on stage, because you're really by yourself for so much of the ballet. And you sort of lose yourself in the moment you forget that you're the only person on stage and you just become so in the moment and so, um, 
lost in your own thoughts that it all feels very, very real.